So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Manchester United Crew Mode, episode 10. Finally, we've reached episode 10. Not long to go in the season, actually. You know, we've already hit January, almost the end of January, and then there's a couple months after that, obviously, but not too many games to go. I think we're about past halfway, probably now. This is the schedule for today. We've got Man City in the cup. It feels like we just versed Liverpool, Man City over and over, but we do have to finish the second leg of the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup, so... I think we're winning 3-2 at the moment on aggregate. We've got Newcastle in the league. And then we go into February where we've got Spurs and Sevilla in the Champions League round of 16 knockout, I believe. Next episode is Chelsea and whatever comes after that. So, yeah, it's, it's the business end of the season, obviously. We're doing very well at the moment. We're coming first, I think, on the table. And we're in the semifinals of the EFL. About to go into the final if we don't screw up this second leg. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like for me. If you're new around here and you want to know all the latest FIFA 21 news and crew mode content... Make sure you subscribe today. So we'll boost the players up with the press conference. It says the tie is in your favor at the moment. Can you hang on away from home? I'll say we're halfway there and uh, yeah, I am expecting a win. A fantastic performance and a resounding win in your previous match. Looking ahead, do you think the boys now have a psychological advantage? We don't worry about the opposition. No, nah, mate, we don't worry at all, mate. It's just Man City. Many people expected United to be more active in the transfer window. No signing so far. Mate, we got Tunganga on loan. That's sort of a signing, isn't it? Uh, I'll just say, I think we're in good shape, yep. I mean, we're coming first. What more do you need? Really, one of the answers should have said, I blew the budget on Sancho. All right, so this is the lineup against Man City. A couple tired players, but what can you do, you know? This is the best we're going to get, especially when you're playing so many matches. Hopefully, we do the job today. So it's another Manchester derby for this season. We're currently 3-2 up on aggregate. But, of course, anything can happen when you're versus Man City. De Bruyne will probably score once again. Van der has got it again. Martial's made a run. And Martial could score here with a lot of power, and we get the goal. 4-2 on aggregate now. It's just made it a little bit harder for Man City to come back. Van der Beek with the ball. Martial makes a nice run, and there's a bit of space for him. He hits it with power, straight past Edison, and yeah, what a big goal for him. Modric plays it up to Aguero, who's onside. Keeper comes out. Oh, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, they're tripping over each other, and the ball falls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a mess. I thought it hit one of the players and started rolling into my net. What a ball from Sancho to find Rashford. He should get there. Yes, he does. Rashford, we've got four players in the box here. We play Van der Beek in. I thought it went into the top corner. I was about to say, and he's hit it into the top corner, but he didn't. Man, look how close that was. It was heading there. Just missed. Look at that. Is he offside? No, he's not. Bernardo Silva could be through. Bailly cuts it out. Bailly having a fantastic game today. Bruno Fernandes plays it. Oh, what a pass. Martial's through on goal. Turn on the Jets, my friend. Martial with the finish, and now it's done and dusted. Man United are through to the final. 5-2 on aggregate. Martial with another goal. The ultimate difficulty can't handle Martial. Look at that. Another beautiful goal from him. This guy's on fire, man. They come back through De Bruyne. Here's Isco. The player switching, doing me dirty there. Oh, good save by De Gea. Sanchez made a run. Oh, Van der Beek. Just caught sleeping with it. De Bruyne is bringing it forward. Plays it up to Sterling. He's going to go across goal. Can De Gea save it? No, he can't. And Kramerich scores for Man City. 5-3 on aggregate now with 20 minutes to play. Fred could get there. Well done, Fred. Fernandez lays it off. And Rashford is through here. Played across. That's it. Martial buries it now. Is that a hat-trick for him? That's it, man. That, that's it. Man City ain't coming back now. Oh, look at that pass. That's beautiful. We opened them up so well. Greenwood, what a finish. Beautiful. And that's it. 7-3 on aggregate. Total domination of Man City, man. Total domination. So we're through to the Carabao Cup final. I think that's played in February, so another game to add to the fixtures. But our first chance of winning an actual trophy this season as well. Martial collects the hat-trick ball in his tracksuit. Got an early mark, of course. But this guy is so clinical. So Spurs and Chelsea still have to play, but Spurs are winning 1-0 on aggregate. We'll see what happens there. Brendan Williams says, Thanks for showing faith in me, boss, even though I'm not one of the big stars. I'll just say I'm proud of you. So I'm going to try and go for Alex Tellez. I know this is one of those signings that United did in real life, but we don't have him in this save. But I'm going to offer Dalot, plus a bit of money. Not much, obviously. I'm just going to try my luck. I don't expect this to go through, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, he ran away. Yep, okay. I knew it wasn't going to work. All right, so we've got a game against Newcastle in the Premier League. Taking a look at the table, we're currently one point ahead of Man City. And uh, Spurs are in 
third place, 51 points. So it's us and Man City, I guess, going for the title so far. The only player a little bit tired is Luke Shaw, but I think we'll still keep him on. I've got replacements on the bench. This is an important game we need to win. Otherwise, you know, Man City could overtake us once again. So we've got Martial warming up. 23 goals, competition record 32. We've still got a ton of games to go. Even a goal a game will get him there very early. Lindelof comes in head first and wins the ball. Here's Sancho. Bruno Fernandes is making a run. We might find him with the header. Oh, I thought he scored. That was a big chance. He probably should have scored there, you know. It was a free header and he just mistimed it a little bit. I mean, it's, it's like competitive mode is turned on once again. They're all just doing skill moves. Maybe they're trying to keep possession and, and kill off time. That's a nice ball. Here's Yedlin down the right, full of pace. Boy, he's not going to catch him. It's a corner. Big chance for Newcastle here. Got to get rid of it. Oh, free header. And it's a goal for Joel Linton. Man, they started better than us. They'll keep in possession. And uh, they get that corner, mate. And that was it. So, yeah, a bad start to this game. 22 minutes in, 1-0 down. Lindelof. They're very tricky, this team. It's like competitor mode has suddenly turned back on. Hayden gets into our box. All these players are doing school moves over and over. I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't touch the difficulty. Maybe the game decided for me. Here's Hendrick. De Gea gets there. Nice one, too. Sancho's into the box. Can he score? Good save. That was a big chance, man. Fred picks it up. It's not over yet. Into Martial, who's chasing the goal record. Low and hard across goal, and that's not the definition of low and hard across goal, mate. Absolutely fluffed it. There we go. Nice interception. Bit of a counter here. Martial turning on the Jets. Can he get goal number 24? No, the shooting boots are off today. Did someone swap out his boots in the locker room or something? Because this guy can't shoot today. It's unbelievable. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Fell straight to Lewis. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, it's Newcastle's day today. I can't believe it. They kick it in from the free kick. Heads are straight to him. Unmarked. No one's there. What are you doing, mate? When in doubt, get the 4-2-4 out and hope for the best. That is what I'm going to do right now. Marcel Rashford up top. We have to go for it. Two goals, half an hour to go. Can we do a miracle today? I don't even know, but we'll see what happens, man. Here's Pogba. Into Fernandez. We find him. Oh, Fernandez can't get there. Pogba goes for the volley. Oh, that was a big chance. Bruno Fernandez bringing it forward. If Martial can't score, Bruno Fernandez has to save us. Bruno Fernandez, oh, he can't get the shot off, man. Prime Maldini's at the back today for Newcastle. We need to push. We need a miracle. Here's Pogba. Into Brendan Williams. He's going to play back to Pogba, who finds Bruno Fernandez, and Bruno Fernandez gets one back for us. Seven minutes to go. He grabs the ball and he runs back to the halfway line. Oh, man, where were you half an hour ago when I needed you? There could be a miracle at Old Trafford once again. They play it back to the keeper. Darlow hits it out. I don't know what he's doing, man. But this guy is he's so nervous. He's made two mistakes already. We've got a big chance here. Martial plays it into Dembele, who lays it off to Greenwood on the left foot. Oh, we could have got a handball there, I was hoping. What a tackle by Dembele. We come again. Pogba into Fernandez. No, Pogba plays it straight to Lewis's feet. That could have been it. Oh, they've made a mess of that one. Here we go again. It's through to Dembele. Who's for on goal? Dembele! We get the second back right in the last second and everyone falls to the floor. Dembele hits it into the net once again. We've rescued this game. I mean, it's not the win, but we've rescued it. Better than a loss. Unbelievable. Newcastle thought they had it. They thought they had it, mate. But this team can turn anything around. Look at this. Dembele with the pace. Man, Newcastle were tough today, man. Unbelievable stuff. I don't think there's any time for another one. No. The last kick of the game, that's it. Two all. At least the fans can go home a little bit happier. But we'll see what Man City's done. Hopefully they've dropped points as well. That could be a big point going into the title race, man. That could be a big point. So Man City did beat Brighton, which means they're one point ahead of us now. Uh, it's better than two points ahead, but it's not good. 
So transfer deadline day comes to a close. 700 million spends. I wonder which players left because that's a big amount of money. So taking a look at the Youth Academy and we've got a nice scout report coming through for some players. This guy has a potential between 84 and 94. That's pretty good. I might have to auto adjust the player there and see what we can do with him. There's this guy as well. 78, 94. We'll see what we can do. You never know who's going to be a gem for you. So we've got another big game in the Premier League against Spurs. Currently Spurs are coming in at 4th. 52 points, we've got 58, Man City 62, we've got the game in hand, but still if we win it takes us to 61, last time we played it was 2 all, so that was a tough game too, if we lose today obviously it's not going to be good for us, but we shouldn't have dropped points against Newcastle, but we have to keep pushing, we need to win otherwise Man City are going to have a big gap, the good news is that one Basaka has returned from injury, but the sharpness is not looking good at the moment, so I don't want to risk anything, but if I see that Luke Shaw is playing bad, we'll bring in one Basaka. So there we go. Coming off a 2 all draw against Newcastle. Man United have to play Spurs now. Last time they drew 2 all. Bruno Fernandes with the penalty, I believe, last time as well. So hopefully we get a comfortable win today. But Spurs is not an easy game. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Sanchez made the run. Early on, we could get a goal here. This would be fantastic. Sanchez coming inside. Plays it across to Martial. And there's the goal. Martial back with his shooting boots today. I think uh, someone swapped his boots last time. But he's back today, scoring the goals. So he's on track, you know, to overtake the record as well. Bruno into Martial, who's made a run. And he's onside here. Martial with the volley. And it's pretty much a weak shot. We haven't seen much of Pogba this season. That's a nice ball. Sancho gets a second chance. Lloris with another save. Son bringing it forward. Plays it over to Harry Kane. Lindelof coming across. Just turns him like he's not even there. Look at this. Harry Kane's got Ronaldinho feet. Wine out him. Son. Oh, no. The player switching. The player switching. Oh. It's so dodgy sometimes when you're trying to defend. So the Spurs are back in it. I tried to bring in another player across with the player switching. It just didn't pick the guy I needed in time. So I had to bring De Gea out. There we go. Here's Fred. Sancho. Martial. Sancho's made the run again. Into Bruno. Bruno beats Sanchez. Bruno's through on goal and he just hits it wide. That was a big chance. Oh, Bruno Fernandez, 18 goals this season and he misses that one. Very close. Fernandez lays it off to Rashford. Bruno Fernandez has made a run. Can we score? Yes, we can. Bruno Fernandez once again, 19 goals this season. What a player as well. I love the runs he makes. He just makes the perfect runs. Three players there. We still can't get the ball off him. Can someone tell me why Harry Kane is playing like Ronaldinho? No, that's not good. Oh, look at this. Harry Kane with Ronaldinho feet. Come on, EA, please. This Ronaldinho feet have to go. They have to go, man. Gareth Bale comes on and scores for Spurs. Can someone explain why Harry Kane's got Lionel Messi, Ronaldo feet? I don't even know, man. I didn't turn competitor mode on. Well, we need another goal once again because Spurs decided that they want to do another goal fest today like last time. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. De Gea finally saved something today. Beautiful. Gareth Bale down the right. You all know the goal's coming. Oh, too easy for him. Ugh. Who turned competitor mode on? Because I did not. It looks like Ultimate Difficulty decided to show up today. It's 3-2 now, 70 minutes in. And it looks like we need that 4-2-4 once again. So we're changing things around. We're going with a 4-4-2. Pogba comes off, Greenwood comes on, Dembele on the right, and Wambasaka comes in as well. Let's see how we go. you got to go for it, man. You have to go for it. Every game feels like a final when you're trying to win the league. Here we go. Come on, Fred. Greenwood's made a run. Straight over the top. He's got no pace. Martial's coming across. Oh, no. No. That was the chance. That was the chance. We just get the ball back there as well. Bruno Fernandes. Play it through. Here's Dembele. With the left foot, we get the goal we need. Five minutes to go. Important goal for Dembele. Last time he scored against Newcastle, this time against Spurs. Dembele, let's go yourself, mate. 
Greenwood bringing a forward. Last chance for United. Martial lays it off to Dembele. He's going to dink it. Oh, it's going in. It's in. Dembele has won it again. I can't believe it. Look at the scenes. Look at the scenes. Martial, what a touch. Dembele comes across and just does enough there with the little dink with the right foot. Tucks it into the goal. Look at this. Dembele. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The 4-2-4 is a miracle worker. Or the 4-4-2, sorry, this time. It's a miracle worker, mate. Dembele. Two of the most important goals he scored all season. I can't believe it. We've rescued this game. I can't believe it. Look at that. The last kick of the game again, we beat Spurs. That is a massive victory, man. I can't even describe it. Massive. So taking a look at the table, seven point gap between us and Liverpool in third, but one point behind Man City still. All right, so the last game of the episode, we've got the round of 16 against Sevilla in the Champions League. Taking a look at the rest of the matches, we've got Chelsea versus Bayern, Man City versus Atletico, Barcelona versus Lazio, Porto versus Inter, Dortmund versus Juventus, Atalanta versus PSG, and Real Madrid versus Liverpool. But we have to make some changes. Tanganga's coming in because I think Bayern is a little bit tired. Juan Bissaka starts today, Luke Shaw goes on the left. And Dembele is going to start on the right as well. Van der Beek also comes in for Fred, who's a little bit tired. I have to check this difficulty, actually, while I'm here. Because, man, someone turned that competitor mode on last time. Because I've never seen a team... Yeah, it's on now. Why is it on? Who turned that on? I don't remember turning that on. I haven't had it on all season. I could notice the difference. They started doing all these skill moves and stuff. I don't know what happened there. I could be wrong, but I don't remember ever touching that setting. Unless I did it while I was doing a squad update or something. I've never touched that setting and somehow changed again. So another Champions League night, round of 16, first leg. If we get a good result, that means I can sim the second leg. But who knows what's going to happen. We haven't got competitor mode on today, so hopefully it's a better match. Last time it was just crazy against Spurs, even Newcastle, man. Dembele picks it up, turns on the pace. Immediately, Dembele's charging for on goal, but they might catch him here, so he's going to have to hold it up a little bit. Let's play it back to Van der Beek, who plays it into Bruno. Bruno plays it back to Pogba. Plays it into Rashford. Plays it back to Pogba. Plays it to Fernandez. Into Van der Beek. Into Dembele. Dembele's throw on goal here. He's going to go with the finesse. And it could have been 1-0 right there. Martial. Can't get the header. Dembele picks it up. Let's play it into Pogba. He's going to turn and shoot. Oh. Here's Martial. He's going to turn on the Jets. And he scores. Martial, what a, what a fantastic player. I've described him too many times this season. He's just scored too many goals for me. I run out of words to describe him by the end of it all. But another goal for him, man. Nice work by Luke Shaw. Rashford turns. And he's going to turn on the Jets here. Navas could keep up with him. But Rashford is now through. Let's play it across. Dembele's through. And that's it. Oh, another save by the keeper. Unbelievable. We, we're playing so good, but... We should have scored already three goals. It doesn't get much better than that. Nice, quick attacks. I can't believe the keepers made two good saves. Pogba. Van der Beek. Fernandez is making a run. You already know what's next. That's it. Bruno Fernandez slots at home. Powerful shot. And we go 2-0 up. Bruno Fernandez. Oh, what a touch. What a touch. Van der Beek's making a run. Van der Beek with the volley, and they clear it. So here we go, a big chance here for Ocampos. They'll probably lay it off. No, they're going to go straight to goal. We clear it off the line with Dembele, and Pogba has to rise again, and he clears it. Here's no angle on. Van der Beek can't take it off him. Tanganga, oh, he gets beaten. And Munir and De Gea saves it. Corner for Sevilla. And it's a handball. I can't believe it. Pogba, the culprit. I can't believe it. Look at the bug. Sometimes you turn them on. You get gems. Sometimes they go against you like this. Look at this. No. No. Why do you always... Oh, it's the elbow, man, when they jump. De Gea, can he save us? No, he can't. It's an away goal for Sevilla. And the leg is definitely wide open once again. Here's a Kuna. Straight to goal. Oh, no. It's 2 all now. I can't believe it. Sevilla has done a miracle tonight. We've done two miracles this episode, and finally a miracle has been done against us. Luke Shaw rises and wins the header. Bruno lays it off. 
Van der Beek, nice pass. Greenwood's got enough pace here to go through on goal. Greenwood, right foot, it's a goal. The best thing about Greenwood is left foot, right foot, it does not matter. He can shoot. Man, I wish he had a real face as well though, but... Oh man, Greenwood, what a saviour. He's got enough pace as well. I thought we lost him in as he was about to shoot. I thought we stuffed it. But luckily, with the right foot, it didn't matter. I thought they just did enough there. It looks like the added time has passed, and we're going to win 3-2. It's a big win, but obviously those two away goals... I don't know. I'm a little bit scared going into the second leg. I thought we were going to kill this game off early, but Sevilla brought it back to 2 all, and luckily Greenwood scored for us. But we got the win. You know, we'll take it into the second leg, see what happens. So that's it for today's episode. But next episode, we've got a cup final against Spurs. Oh, man. Us against Spurs is always a cracker. And then we've got Spurs again in the cup. What is going on, man? We just versed the same teams over and over, it feels like. Sevilla once again there. I mean... You know, there's not much left to this season, which means we need to win every game. Luke Shaw has completed a transition to right back. I don't know if I'm going to go through with that because one Basaka is back. So we might not do that yet. But yeah, taking a look at the table, 26 matches, we're one point behind City. So it's still all to play for with 12 games to go. So you don't want to miss any episodes here. This is going to be coming down, I think, to the last episode. Anyway, if you enjoyed, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. And if you need something else to watch, please hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another FIFA video of mine. I'll see you next time.